Hello people, today I'm going to show you how to uninstall Firefox because it has become corrupt and many of you are having issues like not being able to change your cities and such, uh, not being able to open your mail, see reports, whatever. So um, Firefox has become very easily corrupted. So I'm going to show you how to remove it, how to fix it, and hopefully I can do it in one video, but more than likely it'll be two. So let's get started. Okay, first thing you're going to do is you're going to open CC Cleaner. Everybody should have it. There it is. Then you're going to run CC Cleaner. And it shouldn't take too awful long to run. Uh, hopefully you're keeping up on doing this. Well, <laughs> not necessarily. So it looks like it may be a few seconds. Okay, um, yes, I want all windows to be closed, except for this. Okay, it's going to do Firefox. There's nothing wrong with my current Firefox. I'm just doing this because uh, so many of you have issues with corrupted Firefox, and I want to show you the proper way to uninstall it. Okay, everything's been cleaned. Then... I I want you to do the registry the same way. Hopefully you won't get anything here if you do. And no biggie, it'll just take a couple more minutes to run. But you need to do this properly, okay? Okay, that part's done. I'm going to save that and close. Okay, then go to Tools. It'll load up all the programs that you have. You're going to scroll down on Tools in CC Cleaner. You're going to find Firefox, Mozilla Firefox. It should be right here. Okay. You're going to click Uninstall. And just follow the prompts. Now, if it doesn't ask you this, you must get this here. Remove my Firefox personal data and customizations. Check that. Okay, it is going to remove everything. It must remove everything to get rid of the corrupted Firefox version. Okay, click yes. And it will uninstall Firefox. Click finish. And Firefox is gone. If you don't get that pop-up, it's not removed. Okay, but I did get the pop-up and sometimes it will tell you you have to give a uh, reboot and start over. Okay, so what we're going to do now is close CC Cleaner and I'm going to install Firefox 52 and show you how to set it up. Hopefully I don't run out of time. <laughs> I also have a links file that I have set that I use for when I'm installing stuff, browsers and such on people's computers. So it's a quick, easy copy paste and uh, the links of stuff will be in the will be in the list for you. Okay, we're going to lock this because it's going to be Firefox 52. We're going to lock it so it don't update. You, if you're doing a fresh install like I am now, you can also install Firefox 54. Uh, as long as it's a fresh install and not a uh, upgrade. Okay, Anything you upgrade with Firefox or downgrade will compromise your Firefox. You don't want to import anything. Okay, The first thing you're going to do is come over here and click here. And you're going to go to Options, and you're going to go to Advanced, and you're going to go to Update, and you're going to uncheck uh, check, check Never Update, and uncheck background uh, Use Backgrounds to Service and Install Updates. If that's not checked, it's subject to do that. Okay. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is You'll clo uh, close that and close this and then you want to go get, you, uh, use your links 
and you're going to do about config. You might as well do this and set it up right. Type in about config, copy and paste, and you'll see this. I uncheck this because I know what I'm doing. Okay, make sure you do it right. Um, dot max. Okay, you get this. Click on this one, the max uh, Chrome script time. You want to double click it and change it to 90. And then the bottom one, you want to change to 0, which is the DOM max script uh, runtime. There's two of them. The, the other one, don't worry about. Okay, uh, then the next thing you need to do is the clipboard thing because uh, this keeps you from getting tags when you copy and paste stuff in game. So you're going to go up here to where you put in dom.max, you're going to take that out and then you're going to put in the clipboard and then you're going to double click that. Okay, it's done. You can close that page, open another one and the first thing you're going to do is go get tam the first thing you're going to do is get tamper monkey. Okay, put in tamper monkey and you want tampermonkey.net home and you're going to download tamper monkey. It'll take a couple seconds. Click add to Firefox and click install. Now when you install tamper monkey it does not reboot. Okay, it just shows you that it's there. Okay, then go back to your link and you want to get uh, Firefox. Uh, oh no, you want to go get. Uh, hmm, we need memory restart. Memory restart. Copy. This will cause your browser to restart. And that's what you want because you want to make sure that it stays. It does an update and there's a good chance especially with Windows 10 that it will so we're going to install memory Fox so that it restarts the browser and you can watch what happens watch what I do I'm going to stop it see it there's the updater no I don't want that wait for it it'll open up the window or should open up Firefox anyhow close it immediately close Yes. Okay. Now go back to 52. It should be on your desktop. Click it. Reinstall it. This will stop it from updating and screwing up your browser. Okay. So make sure you get that click on there and install the same browser you just installed the second time. And with it being unchecked and everything, you're good to go. You can set up your bots and then you're good. Okay, so now we're going through the process again of reinstalling Firefox 52. And it will not update past 52 if you do this. Okay. Okay, so we're going to launch Firefox again. And it'll come up to what we had. And then we're going to get our bots. And if you had a corrupted file, I hope you saved your bots. To do that, it should be on your... Um, desktop so as soon as you get Firefox uh, clean you can go and click on and install your bot click and watch how it download uh, installs it it's a lot faster and smoother and it's installed if by chance you get excited and click it too many times you have installed it twice which both bots will run you will have to disable one and remove it you only want one bot okay then to bookmark Firefox you can click here and it opens this up and then you click uh, where it says other bookmarks you want to bookmark toolbar and it bookmarks your toolbar click done okay okay then you can go to Facebook And you want to book. I'll bookmark Facebook also. There you go. And to edit, 
you go down and click properties and then you come up here and click take all that out because once you log in it'll be logged into Facebook and click save and you automatically have you can remove that delete remove most visited delete you got the bot page and you got Facebook then you can do bookmark your domains the same way so you can log in and you're all good okay any questions hit me up in game hit me up on Facebook or in groups okay that's it thanks hope this helped oh uh, one last thing anybody that has between uh, four and six gig of RAM you need to have firemen installed it will help a lot with your RAM use if you look up here I've got four it's showing four gig of RAM but I've already pre-installed firemen and I put it on extended processes right now it's running on pale moon but it's also in extended processes right there it is to extend it you have to put a comma after exe type out firefox dot exe and then click save and then close and that way and you can do the same thing with uh, chrome chrome can also be at okay any questions hit me up in game or on group and hope this helps you figure out how to uninstall and reinstall Firefox when it's corrupt. Okay, that's it, peeps. Thanks a lot. Bye.